Okay, so here we have a nice little exercise which is based on interactions that convert energy to one form or the other. So let me get my pen over here. For each of the following scenarios, choose a closed system, identify the energy conversions that take place, and classify each uh, conversion according to the four processes shown in figure 713. Now let's have a look if we just remember what 713 was. You had these four processes. Okay, The first one was um, converting kinetic energy to potential energy and vice versa. And the other one was friction, dissipating your kinetic energy and increasing the thermal energy. Then the other one was the source energy that's being used for, specifically for mechanical en energy, but is also converted into thermal energy. Then the source energy in this case is used just to heat up a room or, or something like that. That's also thermal energy. So those are the four cases. So the first one here is, let's, let's discuss this first one. It says, a person lifts a suitcase. So let's discuss the energy conversion. Okay, so the closed system person lifts a suitcase, so there's the suitcase, use your imagination, and then it gets the person lifted up to there. Okay, so what is the closed system? It is the person, suitcase, and earth. Okay, so there's, there's the earth, Imagine, use your imagination, there's the earth, and there's the suitcase being lifted up. There's, and then the person is also here. Okay. Now, um, What's actually happening here is that as the suitcase is lifted up, the potential energy of the Earth suitcase system increases and the kinetic energy of the suitcase um, also increases. Okay, The source energy, this is important, so how, how, so on the one hand these change, okay, but what, what happens is that the source energy is supplied by the person doing the lifting to convert that chemical energy into uh, mechanical energy. Okay? Does that make sense? So in the process of co converting the source energy, thermal energy is generated. The person gets hot. Okay? So this is figure 713. So source energy source energy gets converted into I'm just going to do mechanical here because that's kinetic and and uh, potential and thermal so the source energy gets converted into mechanical energy and into thermal energy that's 713C what about B? a toy suspended from a spring bobs up and down so you got something like this and there's a spring and if you push it, it just goes up and down and up and down like this, okay? So what is that? Before you look at the answer, what is that? Well, that is, that is um, potential energy converted into, into kinetic energy, converted into potential energy, and so forth, okay? As the toy bobs, its height relative to the ground changes, its velocity changes, and the configuration of the spring changes. So it thus involves conversions of gravitational and elastical potential energy and kinetic energy. So that is, you've got U and K, and we have these kinds of conversions between potential and kinetic energy. And it's reversible. It is, uh, here it is, it is reversible. So that is that first one of figure 713A. What's the third one? C, a pan of water is brought to a boil on a propane burner. So what kind of conversions do we have there? Well, we have a chemical reaction that's increasing the thermal energy okay, of the water. So uh, we have a, a chemical, chemical energy is released by burning the propane, the propane, the water is heated and its thermal energy increases. Okay, that's 713D. 
Then finally, a cyclist, a cyclist breaks and comes to a stop. So what kind of energy conversions do we have there? What is it, guys? What do you think? Well, it seems that we've got kind of a kinetic energy. Okay, and there's, a f there's friction there and maybe thermal energy as well. Okay, so it says during the braking, the, the, the kinetic energy of the bicycle is converted to thermal energy by friction. So we've got this kinetic energy and it's converted to thermal energy by friction. Alright. Okay, so that's 713B. Okay. I forgot to mention C. You've got source energy converted into thermal energy. Irreversible. You can't you can't you can't do it the other way. Okay, the same here. This is irreversible. You can't convert that thermal energy into kinetic energy. Okay. All right. See you in the next one.